Hey guys, so um, I'm doing a video because I uh, I released a new ebook last week on logo design called The Perfect Logo Design, and where I outline a whole bunch of uh, guidelines and tips for creating a very versatile um, logo that can be used in different advertising and marketing opportunities. This book is both for the business owner and the graphic designer. It gives you a, a deeper insight into what a logo is and what its purpose is. So I decided to make a video to kind of talk about the different topics in the book. And what I like to do right now is talk about one topic that is that is very crucial, and that is file formats. I'm going to throw up a bunch of image file extensions up on the screen here. Now I want you to take a look at these and and see if you can guess which of these which of these file formats is best for your initial logo design. If you're thinking JPEG, you are wrong. Okay, JPEG is the worst file. First of all, JPEG is a raster image, which means it's based on pixels. If you chose GIF, God. That is, GIF should, that, uh, no one should be using GIFs anymore except for small little corners of your, of your website. If you chose EPS, congratulations, you are right. The reason is, the reason we want EPS is because it is a vector file. What vector means is that it's not pixel based, but it's based on geometric primitives. So you can scale that logo any, any size. You can make it super small, you can make it really, really big, and you'll never lose quality. This is crucial for logo design because I need to be, as a designer, I need to be able to take this logo and put it anywhere. If you give me a JPEG, first of all, JPEG has a white background. I can't extract that white background too easily. If we're doing a really, really large banner or something like that, your JPEG, the, the resolution won't cut it. It's going to be blurry. It's going to be ugly. It's not going to look very good. You need to have a vector logo. Now, EPS is good. You can also have it as an Illustrator file .ai. These are pretty much the two files you want. Okay, so if you're getting your logo designed, make sure you get those vector files. Okay, for more tips and tricks like this, please check out my new book, designyourownbusinesslogo.com. Okay, thank you very much. This is Robert Baldwin for IMX Productions. <laughs> Look at the size of this thing. New extra large Tim Hortons. Ooh, and it's rolling. Please try again.